looks the uh, yeah. the attention is definitely building or surrounding you. I believe. Are are, are you feeling that? Are you feeling increased uh, attention or you know kind of increased expectations on your career? Um, no, not really. Um, you know, in in jujitsu, I won my first world title uh, over ten years ago. So um, you know, right after that, I got my I, I had a target on my back. You know, everyone wants to be be the world champion. So. Um, for me, it's it's nothing different, you know. Uh, if anything, I'm more relaxed now, having more fun uh, than than what I was in the very beginning when it was so brand new. Um, so no, now nowadays I'm I'm super chill and and just enjoying the ride. Did you expect the rise to be this quick, at least in Bellator? I mean, you're only talking about what about 18 months with with Bellator, right? I mean, so did you expect it to to be this quick, or is it taking you by surprise a little bit? Um, no, actually, this was kind of all in my plans. Um, you know, the first year I wanted to do th three fights and, and stay really busy and work my way up as fast as possible and start to put myself in, you know, around the top five of the division and then, uh, you know, slow things down from there and, and get the bigger fights. Um, and, you know, my, originally I said after four fights, I want to fight for the title and, and um, you know, basically here we are. So it's kind of all happening the way I envision envisioned it. And uh, yeah, I couldn't be more happy. You talked about being more relaxed now, you know, since it's not so brand new. I wonder, how do you approach your development as, as a mixed martial artist? Because you're, you're so good at jiu-jitsu, right? And, and, you know, being a specialist and being that good at one thing, I mean, I wonder, do you say, I want to keep that sharp and I want to make sure that, you know, I'm always able to put it in that world? Or do you feel that responsibility to show I'm a well-rounded martial artist, I can do everything? How, how do you approach your development? Uh, well, I, I, you know, uh, for me, I see everything as becoming the best martial artist I can be, not just... Uh, a jiu-jitsu guy fighting uh, in mixed martial arts, you know. I don't see myself as that way because I was a martial artist first and foremost. Um, I, I, you know, started training martial arts when I was just a child and it was, you know, it wasn't until I was a teenager that I, that I learned about jiu-jitsu um, and my father began teaching me jiu-jitsu. So, uh, you know, the, the my, I just have a different mindset, a different, a different philosophy um, coming from where I came from. And, uh, and Jeet Kune Do was what I grew up doing uh, under my father. And so I've always kind of considered myself a mixed martial artist, even though I fell in love with jiu-jitsu and, and obviously that became my, my first love and I put everything into that. Um, now it's just kind of almost going back and, and re-tapping into um, you know, my childhood and, and taking the experience and uh, the skills that I've uh, developed in jiu-jitsu and using that to, to sort of formulate my, my um, uh, complete martial arts game and system. So, uh, of course, you know, uh, I, you know, for me, it's just winning. It's just about winning as clean and efficiently as possible. And so for the most part, that's going to involve using my jiu-jitsu. But um, just having the threat of my jiu-jitsu opens up other aspects of my game um, that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been developing and, and nowadays, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm really starting to become a complete fighter. So it's interesting. I didn't know you grew up in Jeet Kune Do. So when people say, you know, a jiu-jitsu guy, like, do you take offense to that? Or do you almost look at it as like, well, that's my secret weapon. You think I always just grew up grappling or? Uh, no, I definitely don't take offense to it. I mean, it's obvious I am a jiu-jitsu guy. And I'm proud to represent the jiu-jitsu community and have all of their support behind me. Um, for me now, it's just sort of my way to express myself as a complete martial artist and let people know um, that, you know, I can do it all and I love to do it all. And, uh, you know, th this is actually who I feel I really am. Um, you know, being able to, to compete in the cage, I think, is my, you know, um, sort of my martial arts destiny. So uh, jujitsu is just a big piece, but it's only a piece. And, and I'm taking all of it now and, you know, taking it into the cage. No doubt. John Salter's on quite the run. Um, break him down. What, what, what do you see? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's a finisher, great grappler, uh, obviously good wrestling, very good at finishing the back. You know, everyone that, that um, tries to turn away to get up, you know, he, he takes advantage and, and gets it done. Um, I really like his style because he doesn't take a lot of damage, you know. He's very smart in the way he closes the distance and, and puts people down and, and uh, you know, he gets the finish just, you know, the same way I like to do. So um, it, it's a bit of a clash of styles. Um, you know, I think neither one of us have really fought another person like us, you know. He's had the, the edge on the ground against all of his opponents pretty much the same way I have had. 
Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how we match up against each other. He obviously has more experience, you know, more than twice the fights as me. Um, I'm pretty used to that at this point. Um, you know, really, I just feel like he's going to bring out the best in me uh, because of the way he's going to challenge me and, and not be an easy person to finish on the ground. Uh, I think he's going to bring out all my other skills as well. And, uh, you know, I'm ready for a war. You know, um, I'm ready to go full 15 minutes if necessary. But I think um, with his style and my style, we both like to finish, you know. Um, uh, hopefully it won't be going the distance and uh, it'll be my hands getting raised. It's an MMA fight, so anything can happen, but I'm sure you know a lot of people want to see it on the ground. Do you personally want it to go to the ground? I mean, do you go into a fight thinking, boy, it sure will be fun to get down there and see how this goes? Um, yeah, I mean, definitely. Uh, uh, it'll be exciting to have, you know, that high-level grappling exchange inside the cage, um, and I think it will. I mean, you know, we can't just cancel out all of our years of training, our foundation. You know, if he feels like he's in a range to take me down, he's going to do it, you know, and I'm going to do the same um, to him. So uh, we're definitely going to, going to, you know, do some, some violent hugging, as I like to call it, and, uh, and wrap each other up. And, you know, we'll see what happens from there. It'll be exciting. But, um, you know, I, I train with the best and I fought the best. Um, so, you know, I'll be very confident in even when we, when we hit the ground. Is this the one that gets you the title shot that you were hoping for? I believe so, uh, especially with the way everything is sort of lined up scheduling wise. Um, you know, a few of the other top middleweights have fights coming up too. Uh, Shlomenko's fighting in New York. Carvalho Musasi, I'm sorry, Carvalho and, uh, and uh, Mashida just uh, signed for December. So, uh, but we're right now, and Musasi's next week uh, with Rory. So, um, you know, I think timing wise, it's perfect. Obviously, Salter's been at the top, and uh, he's been deserving of a title shot. Um, and, you know, I think getting a solid victory against him definitely puts me there. Um, and that's what I want, man. That's my dream. So um, I'll definitely be, be watching uh, Rory and Masasi and, and hoping to fight the winner next.